into the Spicy Book Nook, where we discuss all of our favorite and not so favorite dark and dirty book series. We're your hosts, Aj and Tay. So without further ado, let's get into it. Today we will be reviewing 40 Hours with a Stranger by J.D. Southwell. Please be aware that there will be spoilers and explicit content for mature audiences only. Okay. What did you rate this book? I would say... Honestly, a five. I really didn't have many complaints. Maybe a 4.8, if I'm being honest. What did I rate it? I rated it... Yeah, I would. I rated it a, probably like a 4.9. Yeah. And, and that's only because I wanted it to be longer. <laughs> Same. Like, I feel like, like, like the there ending, was so much story. Like, yeah, the, it, I just wanted the ending to be longer. Like, that was it. Like, the book itself, great. The characters, great. But, like, when I got to the end, like, I was so invested that I just wanted the end to be longer. I agree. So, so that was, like, my uh, my only thing. But other than that, like, great. Absolutely great. Yeah. I think we ha- we literally have the same thought because at the end, I felt like there should just be a, just a little bit more story. I'm like, maybe because of the book, too, we'll get some more story. Yeah. But, like, I... I really enjoyed this one, and I wish there was just more development at the end. Yeah, that was all. I just wanted more. (laughs) I was like, wait, hold on. It's ending. Wait. It's too soon. (laughs) Yeah, so that that was my only thing. Um, So a little synopsis of this. We have our main character, Ashlyn, and she's engaged to get married to Bobby. And pretty much Bobby works for her dad. Um, Her dad owns a tire store and so um the dad wants her to take over but she has no interest but Bobby is like really pushing for that her grandfather ends up getting sick and so she has to drive 40 hours so that she can go check on her grandfather and her ain't shit ass fiance pretty much just tells her she's gonna have to drive by herself mm-hmm. and so along the way we meet Nick and so this is pretty much their drive 40 hours together even though he's a complete stranger yeah and I mean I would have drove 40 hours with Nick I think well one like she should have knew something like to me (laughs) (laughs) like okay so she's even if he said I couldn't go whatever to me bullshit because what who's gonna nobody who really cares about their fiance is gonna be like yeah, I want you to drive 40 hours by yourself. Like, that's just that's just not going to happen. You know, like, so that was the first thing. And then she's going, and it's like, if you notice on the way there, like, he don't even check in on her. Not even to be like, okay, let me just, you know, let me make sure she's good. Let me make sure ain't nothing happened to her. Like, no, nope. he does not give a damn. He's just going about his life, being his little messy self, don't even care. And that didn't even spark, like, nothing to her you know she's like oh he's just probably busy girl girl no he don't that care man about is... your well-being he ain't that busy all. to send a text even at work if you're busy you could send a text just to see hey where are you just checking in you know making sure you're alive ain't nobody kidnap you and kill you the first thing i thought of was uh, remember when mike uh didn't let uh Sheila get on the yeah, plane. Yeah, she got Sheila. On... <laughs> Ashlyn got Sheila. She sure the fuck did get Sheila. She got she Sheila. Sure she she had to drive her. all the way across. She was about to go up that mountain to save her marriage, girl. <laughs> and I was upset because I was like, no, he didn't just Sheila her. No, he fucking didn't. He Sheila the hell out of her. I swear to God, that's what I thought of. I was like, no, she is not going to drive up that damn mountain for this man. And it's like, granted, she wasn't doing it for him, but like, I really felt like the way that it happened, it was like, you can't go with your girl. Like, you know, or not even just that, like, you can't even check on her while she's on the road. Like you said, that, that, did, was that did not make sense to me at all. Like, how do you not know that this man doesn't give a fuck about you? And then our main character, Ashlyn, she's, you know, she's a thicker girl. We love a thicker girl. She's cute. And, um, okay. And Bobby did not love a thicker girl. Bobby was the only times he did text her was to text her and be like, hey, make sure you eat what a you salad. Eating? Yeah, what you eating? Yeah, what you eating? 
Make sure you eat a smoothie. Don't be eating. Like, yeah, go up. Trip, driving by myself. And the only thing you have to say to me is something about sure. my diet. Yeah, Excuse make sure me, you sir? don't you want to fit in that wedding dress? You want to fit in that wedding dress? Like, sir, I don't need to fit into a damn dress because we no, have the. We no, the wedding is not happening after you talk to me like that. Like, excuse me? I ain't fitting in shit. We ain't getting married. Like, it. I, I was over his ass. I did not like him from the get-go. From like, when the she get-go. was like, he didn't know how to pleasure her at all. Like, she was about to come, and he just was like, okay, my turn. I and it's like, like, bro, you suck at life. Like, who are you? I was like, girl, this what you about to marry? Let it go, baby. Let it, let it go. It's fine. Go ahead, and go what, ahead and let him go. Go ahead. And I would say what I did like is that she noticed her insecurities. Like a lot of people just be insecure in books and like they're just like, oh, I'm so insecure. But like she really noticed them and she was like, okay, I'm I need to like, you know, do she better. She was self-aware. She was very she was self-aware. Very self-aware. And like she she was like. I I feel confident that she was going to like make the steps to like understand that she was a better woman than Bobby made her feel like she was because she was she was a bad bitch okay yes and then you know she's driving and she almost gets assaulted on the road oh my gosh and that was that was crazy I was shook I was like oh my god not that man like I fixed your car, but it's okay. You ain't got to pay me in money. You got to pay me in a different way, sir. Like, excuse what? me? <laughs> excuse me? <laughs> what? That you was, know what? That was fucking crazy. I but, see. If it was me, I would have been like, oh, yeah, let me grab this condom out of my purse. And then I would have pulled out my fucking gun because what What do you think this is? Like, no. Mm-mm. Yeah, he, he was crazy. And then, obviously... Our main, our other male, uh, our other main character, Nick, we meet him and, you know, he comes and saves the day because that's just, he's just a stand up man. That's what he does. So then yeah. we meet Nick, who is, I mean, why do you say mm, like that? No, I mean, I didn't say it like that. I mean, when it comes to Nick, I feel like <laughs> that man is, uh, he's a good man, don't get me wrong, but like. He needs he needs a little therapy because he's been through so much stuff, and I feel like honestly, at the end of this book, I don't think he recognizes how much trauma he's been through. I know he he was very very trauma filled. He just been through a lot. Okay, he was a good man. Don't get me wrong. I really he's like a good Nick. Man, like, Nick sounds good fine. <laughs> Nick sounds fine. Like, he sounds great. Like, he's a good man. Like, don't get me wrong. I really like Nick. I loved his character. I felt like he was very, like, you know, he was just a good man. I, I, I had no, he I have no. A good man that didn't trust these hoes. That's all it was. He said, I'm a good he man. Has, I don't trust these hoes. He got to get over it. Like, because not everybody is like the last bitch. And it's like, honestly, like, Two out of three bitches did you wrong. But and I so, will like, say that's the third. But this was very realistic because I truly feel like in real life, men cannot take like being <laughs> when someone cheats on them or something. Like I really feel like this is so real life because <laughs> men cannot take it. Like women could get cheated on and they'll be like, it's fine. Like I'm gonna just move on and we're gonna try again. But men, oh my god, if someone hurts them, they are <laughs> scorned. They are fuck oh. bitches for life. It is fuck bitches get money. I will never get in another relationship ever again. These hoses for the streets. Like, baby, that was one girl. That was that I was mean, one girl. He did have a valid reason because, you know, like that one girl may have cheated on him, but like he also like lost, lost. his brother. Yeah, so that was and so like I get it. I, I get it. It's understandable. It is understandable. But at the same time, it's just like. And then he met Ashley. And, and you know, she just different. Ashlyn just... was a good woman. I she really liked her. I just, I just needed her to stand up just a little bit more. Because, girl, 
ain't nobody like not we trying on dresses and you with your best friend and then you find out your best friend and your man texting hmm? I'd have to beat your for ass what? I'm sorry for what? <laughs> for what like that's crazy not y'all having a, a separate conversation it's not even like a like a group you know text like oh I had to ask him something but you know I tagged you in it so you knew we wasn't on no funny shit no y'all having separate conversations that's weird and she really like oh that's weird but yeah yeah you know well and just kept going with life like girl what no that's your not how it is, works your friend fucking that man what you mean your friend is fucking that man like your man is not fit yeah and neither is your friend yeah i was like mm. from the beginning like i don't know she, like kendra was so negative towards ashlyn and denise which is the other best friend she was so negative to both of them and always had some slick ass comments. I was just like, I don't like her. It's like her vibe is very, very negative. Weird. And she was always making comments about Ashlyn's weight, which was disgusting because obviously, if that's your best friend, like you, you should, would never, you would, you would like, never, never would I want to make my best friend feel like shit about themselves. Like, hell no, girl, hell no. And she I could be 300 even... pounds and you'll be like, bitch, you look skinny. And exactly. thank you. <laughs> like, it's giving skinny, girl. It's giving skinny, friend. <laughs> Please. Friend was like... so shitty. I was like, from the beginning, I was like, I do not like this girl. Something is, it was something, I was like, something's up with her. I don't know what it is, but I do not like it. I do not fucking like her. And then when, you know, everything unfolds and we find out that she is a lying piece of shit and is fucking that man like we knew she was fucking that man then I definitely yeah it was it was a no for me yeah um ain't no way like how I, I don't know like how do you have the audacity to fuck like your best friend's man and like how does he have the audacity to fuck your best friend that right there is like ultimate disrespect because I mean I'm gonna set it off what do you mean crazy like to me I'm just like if you gonna go sleep with anybody can it not be my best friend like can it just be some random <laughs> You know, like, go I'm on like, Tinder, girl. Find, There's so many men, but find something. So many options out there, and this is this is what you choose to do. <laughs> like, literally, crazy. I'm like, this is you. This is what we're on. All the options, and this is this is it, huh? This is what we do, I, I guess. So sad for her because you could tell, like, she just really loved Bobby, like, and she genuinely was like. It made me so sad that she was like not trying to lose the weight for herself, but it was more so like Bobby keeps commenting on her weight every five seconds and telling her how much she wants to fit into her wedding dress and all that, that she like felt like she had to do that for him. And that made me so sad. And that made me sad. And then also her relationship with her dad, because like, I'm like, the, oh yeah the dad was also sucked. was also like you need to lose weight like damn can this can this girl just be thick and live her damn life period because on the cover of the book she looked thick she don't look fat she might have had a little tummy a little a little fupa or something but she was not fat like no, and I feel on, like damn. everybody gave her this complex and it just like it ruined my girl like she deserves so much better and like for your dad to be doing that and it's like making crazy. you feel feel like that that's crazy. Like he was making her feel just as bad as damn Bobby was. I was like, that's terrible to be somebody's dad and making them feel that like that. Crazy. And normally it's like the mom. So the fact yeah. that it was the dad, I was like, wow, I'm very disappointed. Very much. I was like, but that was the thing. See, Nick came in and was trying to tell her, like. Girl, don't nobody care about that tummy. I'm gonna eat you up regardless. Oh, and did and did and did and did. Okay, and he said, had her yeah. on top. He had her on everything. Okay, I was cracking up when he wanted her to sit on his face. <laughs> She's like, I'm yes. gonna suffocate you. Girl, that man <laughs> don't care about that. 
sit your ass down. Okay, that's that it. Not, they don't care. <laughs> So relatable because I will break your face is <laughs> my thought. And then no, he was like, get get your ass on his face. What do you mean? He said, girl, sit down, quit playing these games. <laughs> and so pretty much Nick is headed towards to Vegas um to get some revenge on his ex that did him dirty. And so since he saves Ashlyn. From being assaulted by the crazy fucking mechanic, she offers him a ride, and she was scared to drive by herself because after that, that was just too much. So now they're driving together, and they're strangers, and they start to get to know each other, and obviously they develop a little crush, and he actually starts to like her, which is concerning to him because, you know, he's on his bitches ain't shit trip. (laughs) and then he finds out like oh not all bitches are the same got it and then actually starts falling in love with her so and she's engaged and so she's trying to be a good woman and that punk ass man and is pushing him away because she's like no you know I have a fiance I'm engaged even though that Bobby's a bitch and don't check in with her and she's really trying to be good to him until the very end where they just couldn't resist each other and he I mean, and he had to tell her, like, girl, because then she finally admits to her friends what's happening. And Kendra's like, oh, I know him. Like, I fucked him before. Because, you know, she's messy. Messy as hell. Mm-hmm. And then he sees, she lets him know. He sees a picture of Kendra, Bobby, like, all them together. And then he tells her, like, girl your friend is fucking your man. Like, I see them together at the club all the time. Right. Um, Of course, Ashlyn thinks he's lying because she's like, no, ain't no way. Like, they wouldn't be doing that. They wouldn't be going out without me, blah, blah, blah. And he's really trying to just let her know, like, that is not your friend. And that is not your man. That is not your man. (laughs) That is not your man. Like, they be hugged up at the club, kissing, doing all that. And then pretty much she gets mad and she leaves him because she's so upset she thinks he's lying and she doesn't want to hear that. And so she leaves and goes back. <laughs> and this man is so sad because he didn't expect to ever fall for anybody. And he is really hurt that this woman left without him. And that, you know. that just really, I was like, damn, he's so sad. Like, he's like, damn. He- he really cared about her, like he and, like did. the way that she made him feel. Like I really had faith. I was like, okay, like he, you know, he's gonna stop being a he man woman hater because but the way he, was... he like built her up, he always just made her, you know, like he wanted to let her know, like don't, nobody cares about your size, like yeah, you're he was like so you're beautiful. Like, he was very much like. You're reassuring insecure. as hell yeah absolutely like you're insecure for what why are you insecure what's going on like he's like if your fiance makes you feel like that then you probably shouldn't be getting married to him like i will say like nick was very honest and blunt from the beginning oh like, yeah very much was like why are you with someone who's gonna make you feel like that who's gonna say those things to you who like for what you're beautiful you don't need to be with him and this was before he was even trying to, you know, mac up on her. Like, he was just no, being he honest. Was like, like, being honest. Yeah, like, you're beautiful and you don't deserve to damn be with someone who treats you like that. He wasn't <laughs> wrong because I was like, at the end of the day, like, she needs to stand up. Like, it, it's time for her to understand, like, this man is treating you like shit and you're continuing to allow him to do that. And, like, I get being insecure and, like, you, you, sometimes let people like walk over you and stuff but like there comes a point where you have to realize like I don't deserve this and I have to I have to make a change because if not I'm just gonna start feeling like this every single day and that's what she was on she was really feeling like to the point where she was like you know she didn't want to eat if she did eat like she was like subconscious about keeping the shit down like it was just it was a mess and like I get it but I want her to I wanted her to you know yeah I was not like, worry about him like she was the ultimate like super sweetheart and I was like okay yeah we got to be a little less sweet here 
Like we gotta, <laughs> we gotta, gotta be a little less sweet because this man ain't shit. And so he needs to be punched in the face. Honestly. Exactly. And so she goes and she checks in with her grandpa, and he's doing a lot better, and all is great. And then she has to tell him about her experience, and her grandfather is like, "Girl, leave that man." I was not having it. (laughs) He's like, leave that ancient ass man. Like, and then she finally is like, okay, maybe something's not right. So she is really contemplating leaving him. And then her friend Denise calls her and is like, hey, that guy Nick, I just seen him like by your mailbox. So she's freaking out because she's like, how does he know where I live? Like, girl, Mm. he's gonna let you go that easy? No. And Absolutely not. Her friend checks the mail because obviously Ashlyn's a little shaken up. Like, what the hell is going on? And he pretty much put a picture in the mail of proof of Kendra and Bobby tonguing each other down, which I was so happy because I'm like, girl, clearly this this man ain't lied to you yet. So at all, he's been very straightforward. So I don't think he would tell you that. Obviously, just to lie. Like, so I was very happy. When he put that damn proof in there, because I was like, there, now, now, you know, so now you better leave because now, you know, and then and of course, she, you know, she got to go back and handle business. She should have, she should have did so many more things to that man. Ugh, and then that was my thing is like, I get it. Like fast forward, we find out Bobby had. A wife already, and we married. We find out Bobby was in a throuple with Kendra and his wife. They was all when I tell you jaw to the floor. Excuse me. Yeah, I that part really got me because I wasn't expecting it. Like I was (laughs) expecting him to be a cheater and like messing with the best friend, but the fact that he had the throuple sister wife, I was like, what? Yes. Jaw to the floor. Excuse me, Bobby. You mean to tell me you weren't able? You you didn't just have one bitch, two bitch. You had three bitch, three bitch, three bitch. What? <laughs> like and then counting I, him far bitch. Four okay. Bitch. <laughs> like <laughs> I really was shook, and then we find out in the end that Bobby just wanted to be with Ashlyn because. They wanted to pretty much take over, take over. dad's tire shop. So they could Which use was insane. to do shit, to do some illegal shit. And so he was using her in the end. And in the end, like her and Nick end up together. And obviously Bobby is left with nothing. He's fired. He has absolutely nothing. But it just wasn't enough. The revenge in me, I was like, that ain't enough. We need, so that's why when it ended, I was like, this, this ain't enough for me. Like, I just feel like, I feel like he didn't go through enough. Like, I feel like he didn't lose enough for me. And, I agree. And, and I maybe feel like, I'm just evil. Maybe I'm just evil, but. No, he, I swear to God, he needed to like pour some baby oil on the floor and beat him with a belt because something. Something. he deserves something because like you did all of this crazy stuff and she, but I do have to like go back she is the sweetest sweetheart mm-hmm. so like the revenge that we would seek as like our you know our dark romance girlies like we be seeking revenge okay For we real. be wanting to beat people up tie them up with chains we be wanting to do some crazy shit I was like, so yeah. at the end of the day like her revenge for her sweetheart personality was more than enough but for us yeah like absolutely not yeah, so, and then that's, you know, it ends, and obviously her and Nick are together, and I love that, because I was like, you know, you deserve love, and I just love that she ended up with someone who truly loves her for her, because it's clear that she wanted to work on herself, but it's but it's hard to work on yourself when the person who is supposed to, you know, help you along your journey is telling you, like, you're eating again. What are you eating? Yeah. Are you, like, you know, so it was, like, nice that Nick is, like, girl, if you don't fucking eat, like, <laughs> you're a human. Eat. You have to eat. Like, and he was so, like, uplifting to her. So, I loved that. I loved him. And obviously, he was so standoffish in the beginning that at first I was, like, sir, you don't get it the fuck together. 
I swear. But I wanted like, him to just like stop being it, so uptight, but I got it. Yeah, when he when he finally, you know, was more comfortable around her, then I was like, okay, like I like him. I like them together. So when the book on his best friend and her best friend comes out, I'm definitely gonna read that. Oh yeah, we definitely have to do an episode because I I need more. Okay. Definitely I'm ready for back. more. Definitely gotta yeah. one back. That one's I, definitely getting read. Yeah, so if you guys are looking for, you know, a little little romance with some drama, because this definitely was messy. This book was messy. It was like romance. It had a lot of drama. It did. Like it was like romance, but with, with some mess. And I loved it. I feel like it was like the perfect balance like it had such a good storyline the characters were really good and yeah it was like romantic but also we had some mess which was good I loved it I really liked this book this one I highly recommend I loved it that's why I'm like only a 4.9 because I just wanted it to be longer because it was so good that I just wanted it to be longer and maybe yeah. wanted like Bobby to get like his kneecaps broken or something. But I think same. <laughs> that's why. That's why I'm like I'm gonna up my four point eight to a four point nine <laughs> for that reason alone. Because maybe I'm just being too harsh on the pain that he re- did not receive. Okay. Yes, I just wanted him to, you know, get a little be bit hurt. <laughs> exactly be hurt. <laughs> but this was definitely such a good read. So yes, if you were looking for a romance with a little mess. I would definitely recommend this one. Yes. And next week, we will be reading Forever My Lady by Olivia Linden. So tune in and let us know your thoughts. Bye. Bye. And it goes a little something like that.